What's up guys, how are you all doing? I hope you guys are doing great. So guys, there are lots of myths about gaming PC now these days. People don't realize the power of PC and they accidentally buy consoles. Consoles are okay and I am, I am really not against them. But I really hate it that people have their own myths about gaming PC. First myth is that gaming PCs are expensive. I personally feel that before it because if you check the price of inbuilt gaming PC in the website like Alienware, then it will blow your mind. It's a way costly video, okay? But if you are planning to buy a gaming PC on yourself, then you will find it it's uh, become a whole lot cheaper than you ever thought. Okay, you can easily build a gaming PC around 500 dollars which can put a Xbox One and PS4 in same list. Now you may be thinking that PS4 and Xbox One comes around 300 to 400 dollar range and the gaming PC costs you about 500 dollars. So think like that. First, it is a PC and you can do whole lot more than gaming. Second, console games are very expensive and you can easily find a better deal in PC in Steam sales, okay, and build a gaming library with a fraction of price you pay for console gaming. Third, online is free. If you are a PC gamer, then you don't have to pay for online subscription. But if you are a console gamer, then you have to pay extra 40 to 50 dollar for one year contract. You need a solid processor like OS. First, it is a way costly. Second, it won't make any difference in your games. It is an 8 core processor, and there is not a single game right now which needs that kind of processing speed. If you have a quad core processor, that's all you need. You can also go for an AMD processor, which will come a whole lot cheaper than Intel's processor and give you almost the same processing power like. It is a myth that people think that uh, processor is a main part of gaming PC, so definitely it is not. Do I need a HD graphic card? People also mistaken that they definitely need a good graphic card, okay? But it's not like that you need a 8 to 6 GB graphic card, okay? It's way too much for the games right now. If you if you have a 2 GB graphic card, that's good. If you have 4 GB graphic card, that's awesome. That's all you need. You can play Battlefield 4 and Call of Duty Ghost in ultra setting with this kind of card. If you have 4 GB graphic card, that's all you need. You won't be needing 8 to 6 GB graphic card. Save your money for future upgradation for your gaming PC. Because you know, PC PCs are upgradable, you can easily upgrade them, okay? Not like console where you will get the same kind of performance for 5 years down the road, okay? Where you cannot improve it. But if you have a PC, then you can improve it by upgrading later on and get a better graphic and performance out of your game. Do I need a 1000 watt power supply? Well, if you have a quad core processor, 8 GB of RAM and 2 GB graphic card, you won't be needing more than 500 watt power supply. So, my suggestion to you that save your money for future upgradation. Okay, and power supply, you can easily upgrade it later. You won't be needing 1000 watt power supply just to play game on your PC. Do I need a gaming key, gaming keypad, and gaming mouse? That's the most fun and naive thing I ever heard of. That people think that they need, they need a gaming keyboard and gaming mouse. It's all up to you. It's not necessary, okay? All these additional gaming accessories will add a little flavor to your game, but it won't make any difference because inside they are all the same. If you are a professional gamer, then sure you can go for all the gaming accessories you want. But if you are a part-time gamer, uh, why the hell you want to put extra load on your budget? because they will do the same thing, okay? Now, these days you can also use a gaming controller like Xbox 360 and PS3. So, use gaming, use keyboard or gaming pad, it's all up to you. It's, it's another advantage you have with your gaming PC over console. Do I need a 60 GB on the PC? This is also most common myth about the gaming PC that you need a 60 GB of RAM on the PC. You have to understand the concept of the PC first, okay? You are making the gaming PC not the super game. And RAM is all about doing multitasking on your device, okay? It shows that how many tasks you can generate in one time. If you have a 4G RAM, that's good. But to be, uh, but to be safe side, because nowadays games are way advanced, 
you can buy a gb ram that's that's all you need for two years from now on okay, no matter what kind of game you want to play okay for two years from now on you can easily play any game with 8 gb of ram so don't waste money on 60 gb ram go for a good 4 to 8 gb ram that's will fulfill all your gaming requirements for now the console have better graphic than gaming pc People commonly mistaken that console have better graphic than PC. It's not completely true. It varies. Okay, like your gaming PC cannot be compared with PS4. If it has a component, it has a dual core processor, 4 GB of RAM, and 512 MB graphic card, then it won't be able to compete with PS4. But think like that. If you have a PC, then you can upgrade it and have a better graphic than PS4, Xbox 360. Xbox One, any of the gaming console you need. And if you have money and if you want to spend it, then you can ensure that the gaming PCs are way better than console. And because you can upgrade it whenever you They are technology invented day by day, okay? And you can upgrade it with the latest technology and the gaming consoles are more much fun. Uh, I hope now most of the main it's clear out of your mind and you can see clearly that if you want to buy a gaming PC or if you want to buy a gaming console. But end of the day we all are gamers. It's no matter that we have a gaming PC or console. Does that matter if we play game and have fun with that? If you think that this video is helpful then give it a like or you can subscribe to me for more of this kind of video. I will see you in the next video guys. Until then, Bye.